Calling all units, calling all units. Donut Shot has a fresh dozen. Go ahead and take a 1040. This, as a chief, you have to play the you have to play the ballot. Yeah, and it's a matter, you know, if it's organic, Nick. Yeah. If, if something's happened, right? Anywhere it doesn't matter whether yeah. it's Minneapolis or, or Manchester. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If it's organic and people come out and and they want to express themselves, and it's a large group of people and it's spilled out into the street, man, I I understand that. And so we're going to handle that a little bit different than this is day twenty seven. Yeah. There's plenty of space on the sidewalk. Yeah. Right, because if you have space on the sidewalk and you can be seen and heard, and you want to come out and protest, no matter what it is, that's cool because yeah. you know that's what makes this country great. But I find it irresponsible. You know, you want to go out and obstruct traffic. Why? Yeah. Why? And and by the way, if you want to do that because it's it's you, you want to show civil disobedience, man, that's okay too. But part of that process is you get arrested. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you want to make a political statement, hey, you know what? I'm going to break the law and I'm going to stand in the middle of the street, even though there's space on the sidewalk, because I want to make a political statement. That's OK. But you go to jail for that. That's part of your political statement. I this was so important. I got arrested. Yep. We will accommodate you. Yeah. You can just tell us, by the way, hey, man, I'm going to go out in the street and that that way we'll understand what you're doing and then we'll arrest you and nobody got hurt. Yeah. But you, you can't go out and obstruct traffic when there's space to protest somewhere else where you can be seen and heard yeah. and then you're affecting other people's ability to get to work, to get to the doctor, to go worship, whatever it is, you know, we all kind of have to fit in the same space, you know? So that, I, and then that's what I was trying to get at. Like, well, at what point where you're like, okay, okay, you know, and not to say enough is enough because we let them do their thing, but now you're going to work within my uh, the parameters that you're supposed to. At what point did you see that, and at what point did it turn that you were like, now is the time where we got to, all right, guys, this is our troops. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to relate to them, and now this is going to, moving forward, these are the, the rules. The time was when it was really no longer an organic thing. Yeah. These are planned protests where they're recruiting people through social media and they're saying hey let's pick up sticks and stones and let's bring uh, material to help um, if we get gassed for example okay man that's different than hey man I, I have a message about social justice or reform no no you're talking about wanting to go out and damage property yeah. okay well see that that's not the same anymore one thing is to protest and another thing is to com uh, commit a criminal act yeah now becoming now criminal, you're yeah. talking about wanting to break the law so now you're going to follow the law or we're going to arrest you um, it's really important that the public understands and I, and again you want to give you want to give some time for the organic part that way when you come out and you tell the public hey I want everybody to understand this is what's happening. We're not going to allow this for these reasons. And so you should know we're going to be taking this action. That way nobody's surprised about it. The big thing for me, Nick, was, you know, we, we had about, I don't know, 14, 15 officers that were COVID positive at the time. And that shot up to almost 70. Yeah. Um, people thought I was making a political statement. I had a press conference and I said, you know, we've had these protests and now I have all these sick officers. And people thought that what I was saying was that the protesters made us sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not what I was saying. I'm saying now I have all these sick officers. And the reason is I have to put four guys to a car. Yep. When we're in field force, you know, response platoon formation. They're in a car 10, 12, 14 hours a day. They're in close contact with each other. For all I know, I have some officers making protesters ill. But the bottom line is we have a health uh, crisis. So you, you can't have it both ways. Yeah. You can't say, hey, mask up, socially distance, but hey, we want to go out and protest, so now it's cool. No, it's not cool. Yeah, It's not. And so that was right around that time when my officers were getting sick that I thought, man, that, that, that's it. And, and, that, and being out there as one of the officers out there, and luckily, think, knock on wood, I didn't, on Cedarwood, uh, that I didn't get sick was uh, uh, I always had it in the back of my mind, man, we got to put our gas mask on because there might be some chemical agents. We got to take it off. We got to put it on. And there's times where you're just like, on, off, go, crowd, on, go, off, take it off. So you're you're exposed. There's no way around you're it. You're exposed. Yeah, and that's you're exposed. reality of the beast. What's up, Nod Squad? Hope you enjoyed that clip from the Donut Chop Podcast. You can head on over to the Donut Chop Podcast YouTube channel where we have the entire interview. 
while you're there make sure to click subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can know when we upload there's going to be tons of new content a whole bunch of guests if you guys have any suggestions head on over and hit us up in the comments all right thanks for watching i'll see you when i see you and if i don't see you i'll see you over on the donut shop podcast channel